Nvidia plans to reveal the RTX 4080 Super, 4070 Ti Super and 4070 Super refresh graphics cards in just a few days on January 8th. In this video I'll tell you their final specifications, prices and performance compared to other currently available graphics cards, as well as the exact launch dates. So stick around and get informed to make sure that you are getting the best deal possible if you are about to buy a new Nvidia graphics card this month. Before we proceed further on this topic, I'd like to share my favorite place to purchase affordable Windows 10 keys that are upgradable to Windows 11 for free. That is CityKeyOffer.com, my longtime sponsor. They're currently hosting a New Year sale. Use the discount code IVADIM to get a 25% discount, reducing the Windows 10 Pro price to just $16. You can then securely check out using PayPal or another preferred payment method. The key is delivered within seconds, allowing you to activate it immediately. Additionally, Microsoft Office 2019 and 2021 Pro are also on sale using the code IVADIM. Take advantage of these offers during the ongoing New Year sale. Now back to our topic. Let's start with the specifications. The RTX 4080 Super features 10,240 CUDA cores, 16 GB of 23 gigabit per second memory and a 320 Watt TDP. Moreover, base car clock is getting a 4% uplift compared to the RTX 4080. The RTX 4070 Ti Super is the most exciting refresh out of the three. It features 8,448 CUDA cores, 16 GB of 21 gigabit per second memory and a 285 Watt TDP. That's 10% more cores and a 1% base core clock increase, but most importantly it gets 4 GB more memory compared to the RTX 4070 Ti it's replacing. The RTX 4070 Super has 7,168 CUDA cores, 12 GB of 21 gigabit per second memory and a 220 Watt TDP. That's 22% more CUDA cores and a 3% higher base core clock compared to the RTX 4070. In terms of performance, you should expect something like this. The 4080 Super should match the RX 7900 XTX. Expect the 4070 Ti Super to deliver performance pretty close to that of the RTX 4080. And the 4070 Super will offer experience close to the RTX 3090, but not quite as good as the 4070 Ti. I think it will be the perfect choice for high refresh rate 1440p gaming. Nvidia plans to phase out the $1200 RTX 4080 and the $800 4070 Ti by introducing the 4080 Super at $999 and 4070 Ti Super at $799. The RTX 4070 will not be phased out. It'll continue its existence with the $550 price tag. The RTX 4070 Super will enter the game with the $599 MSRP. To be honest, the RTX 4070 Super and 4070 Ti Super prices make sense to me. But I am still skeptical about the 4080 Super getting the $999 MSRP. I'd recommend not getting too hyped about this potential price and expect it to be as high as $1199. Keep in mind that these are leaked prices and Nvidia can decide to change them last minute before Jensen goes on stage on January 8th to reveal these new graphics cards. As for the availability dates, according to the latest leaks the RTX 4070 Super will be available to buy on January 17th, 4070 Ti Super on January 24th, followed by the RTX 4080 Super on January 31st. If you are thinking about buying an RTX 4080 or 4070 Ti right now, then I'd recommend waiting for the 4080 Super and 4070 Ti Super to get a better deal as well as better specs in case of the 4070 Ti Super, where you'll be getting 16 GB of memory instead of 12. I think the 4070 Ti Super will actually be a good entry-level 4K gaming card, in contrast to the 4070 Ti, thanks to the increased memory capacity. Let's be real, 12GB is not enough for 4K gaming in 2024 and beyond. However, if you're looking to buy an RTX 4070 or below, then don't hesitate to buy a card of your choice now, because there are no planned price cards in this segment on the horizon. The only price cards that might happen are on the AMD side. 
I think AMD would be wise to reduce prices of the RX 7800XT, 7900XT as well as 7900XTX to make them more competitive versus the upcoming supercards. However, realistically, I don't expect to see them drop prices by a lot. I think it will be a very small price adjustment at best. AMD is not interested in racing to the bottom when it comes to pricing. The company appears to be happy with the way their GPUs are selling at the moment. What do you think about the upcoming RTX 40 Super refresh cards? Let me know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more if you enjoyed this video. It was I, Vadim. Until next time.